Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make perfect corners on all your streets, regardless of the angle of those actual street corners. This is a quick and easy tutorial, and all you'll need are the mods, procedural objects, and move it. Link to those in the description. So the most important thing to start out is identifying buildings that will allow you to use this technique. So these three here are my favorite uh, buildings when doing this. Uh, you'll find that they have simpler slopes on the roof, not too detailed on the roof, and most importantly, there's only two vertices on each roof edge. Now, harder buildings such as these here are of course more or less the opposite of that. Uh, they tend to be a little more detailed, they have some more things on the roof, and uh, they have a little more vertices on the roof edge. Uh, it's not impossible to do buildings that have more than three vertices. It'll just be a little more time consuming and a little harder. So the first example I'll be doing is at 40 degrees. So for this one, I'm actually going to be using three buildings, which is a little different considering I typically actually only use two, which I will show a little later in this video. But for this one, I like to have the one building facing the front towards the edge and then the two, of course, along each other road. So the first step is pretty simple. You're just going to have to align the walls here, the, the edges going up, uh, pretty much as close as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? You don't have to spend a lot of time trying to make sure it is perfect, but the closer it is to being perfectly lined up, it will be a little easier uh, when you get to the roof. Now for this one, as you can see, all you got to do is grab that edge there on the roof and just slide it to where it meets the other uh, top par portion of the roof, the roof ridge as it is. And just like that, you see it's pretty much done. Now there are some small uh, little glitches, right? Some contorted textures on the roof, but from really any distance, you're really just not gonna notice it. Now next, we're gonna be working on a 125 degree corner. So when it's larger than 90 degrees, like this one here, it's actually gonna be a little easier. So for this one, you know, you might be able to get away, honestly, if you don't want to use this technique, you can just place these two buildings just like that. And there really isn't a whole lot of clipping issues. But if you want to be a little more precise and maybe for some nice close ups or something when you're taking screenshots or something like that, you know, you can take that few extra minutes and, uh, you know, fix it like this here. Now this little part here where I'm doing that kind of additional part that hangs off the roof, you know, typically I wouldn't actually do this uh, since it's a pretty small thing. I would kind of just leave it as it were, but for the purpose of this tutorial, you know, just to make it even a little more perfect, I decided to do that. And then lastly for this building, you just got to hide uh, the, uh, the wall edges of each building and tuck in some other pieces of the building and just like that, it's pretty much perfect. And then lastly, for this one here, we got an 80 degree corner, so a little less than 90. And then this is, again, only going to be two buildings. This is what I typically do uh, compared to the three building one that we did from the very start. Uh, but as you can see here, right, there's no leaving this typically in your city, right? You can't, uh, if you don't want to do this technique, you can't obviously leave your building like that, having that ugly wall blocking your windows and doors and such. So you pretty much have to use that technique if you you know, want to have a, you know, pretty nice city corners that aren't just 90 degrees. And once again, just making sure your wall edges are lined up and then aligning the roof edges as well and making a little bit of small tweaks here and there. But in the end, it looks pretty nice. So after it's all said and done, here is what it looks like now. The 40, 80, and 125 degree corners are the ones that I use procedural objects with on the buildings. And then the other two corners there, I just use regular buildings. A 45 degree one for the 55 degree corner and a 90 degree one for the 60 degree corner. You know, it's still possible to use those types, but I like the precision and you know nicer close-ups with the procedural object buildings on those more awkward angles and corners. Uh, you avoid some of the more ugly clipping that you can get or any portions of the building that start to fan out too close to the road or cover too much of the sidewalk, that type of thing. So using this technique, you take buildings that would look like this and make them much nicer to look like this. It's a very easy method as you saw. You will run into some minor te texture glitches and you will lose functionality of the building if it's converted to procedural objects. But nonetheless, you take some somewhat awkward looking building with clipping issues and make some really nice city corners. 
Now, if you're interested in seeing more, these shots here that are coming up are from my 1920s Berlin rebuild, uh, Berlin Noir. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel and watch that series where I use this technique quite a lot since of course in really any European city or really any city in the world frankly you're going to run into corners that are not going to be of course a perfect 90 degrees or a perfect 45 degrees and as you can see there are quite a lot of ways to use this technique to make your corners really come to life and avoid using just those plain 90 degree corners because as simple as that may be to quickly expand a city you know of course that isn't realistic so just taking those few extra minutes here and there on a certain corners that you want to make extra nice you can really make your city look even better and this will be the last little screenshot here to show just a few more examples of these PO'd corners but if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment. If you want me to go into further detail or maybe perhaps using any other buildings, let me know as well. But hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a little something new and hopefully you're able to apply this to your own cities and make them even nicer than they are now. Thanks for watching.